Holy oh. smoke. <laughs> oh, I'm having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> Same. I'm sorry. I couldn't figure this out, but I made it. Wow, I can't believe uh, we're talking to Megan Trainer via Zoom. This is like the platform that's only reserved for, you know, hanging out with your friends. So now that you're here, this is just my mind is blown. <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute. I love this hat and this, the glasses look. Oh, girl, it is hot and a mess up top. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> She's been wearing that hat for three weeks straight. <laughs> Every Crazy. day, I'm like, what do I do with this hair? <laughs> I saw you cutting and with styling your brother's hair. You dyed his hair silver. Oh, you are yes. gutsy. Um, wow. Yeah, we were brave. Uh, he one morning was like, hey, bleach my hair. And I was like, well, let's do it for a good cause. And so we recorded it and we released it. And it was going to be a part of like our this tour we're starting to um, and, and we're collaborating with Feeding America so that we can get people's eyes over here so we could say, hey, go donate while you're sitting at home and anything helps. Normally when we do an interview, we go to you, like at the venue or wherever. Like we've talked at the beach house before. We've talked backstage at uh, concerts. Now you are literally in my basement and in Christine's <laughs> kitchen. This is the most intimate interview I've ever done. We should do this more. <laughs> this is really funny. Okay, so the single is Nice to Meet Ya, and the, uh, the uh, album is Treat Myself, and I, was, I love the, the song Nice to Meet Ya because it's like a quarantine jam. You probably didn't mean it when you wrote it, but it's talking about your hair and your realness and what's underneath my skin, and this is who I am. When, this is kind of who we're finding out who we all are while we're locked inside with no access to makeup and salons. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. She <laughs> that into a TikTok. Yes. Yeah, no nails. <laughs> How's it going? How's the quarantine been? We were joking a little bit at the top about, you know, cutting your brother's hair and everything, but it's, it's tough on everyone. And it's kind of like the great equalizer amongst people because we all are stuck inside and we, we can't do much. Yeah. And I think it's weird being in LA, like my friends in New York say at 7 PM every day when the nurses switch over they all scream outside and it like brings a community together and those moments are like magic but um in LA no one's going outside and we're like we're all just kind of in our homes um but I do have an auntie Lisa who's a nurse at a hospital and she calls me um all the time to tell me like how horrific it really is because when yeah. you're at home for so long luckily my family hasn't got sick so we're just hearing the stories and it's just like you feel helpless and um i was like how can i get her more equipment like she's literally wearing trash bags on her body because they don't have wow. enough gowns and um like her co-workers are passing away and her patients and so i was like we got to do something team like what can we do and they said well you can partner up with feeding america and that because there's also families that you don't think about that don't they lost their jobs and they cannot feed their kids and they're just they're freaking out and I, the least I could do is like help feed a family or do something so I'm trying to do this little home tour and um, get everyone's attention and try to get people to donate and do some meet and greets and if you like donate money I'll do a meet and greet with you on zoom like this or a, on another app so yeah uh, all the information is up on your Instagram account. It's all over our website and our Instagram accounts. And I love the fact that, you're, that your aunt probably helped inspire you to do something that's really relevant and helpful. Out here in Connecticut, you know, we're close to the epicenter of New York and hospitals are overwhelmed. And so in partnership with what you're doing, we're also reaching out to area hospitals through local restaurants. And I know that you're also helping us out in that vein too. Um, so so, wow, Megan, thank you so much. Dude, I'm just like over here feeling helpless. So I'm like, I got to do something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am donating 50 lunches for the next five days. From oh, that's awesome. Restaurants, and we're supporting those small businesses and, and we're feeding everyone who's risking their lives every day. So anything I can do while I'm stuck here in this house will this make helps. Me this helps in so many ways because not only are you feeding the people that are on the front lines that need this, but you're also helping the small businesses around here and 50 meals a day from each of these restaurants. That's, that's amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of our feed the hero, uh, food for uh, feed the heroes program. It's just 
it's mind boggling. When, when they told us that you were getting involved, we were like, wait, like what? What? Like that Megan trainer? <laughs> Megan, I feel like this is like everything you're doing on Instagram is like just a big audition for you to actually, after all this is over and it's going to be over, that you, we're going to see you on TV with your own show. Like it's coming, sure. right? A hundred and ten. Yes. <laughs> Like yeah, Kelly Clarkson's going to be your lead in and then <laughs> Ellen's going to follow you and you're going to be smack dab in the middle that's, right there. Yeah, that's my bucket list. That's my dreams. My dreams is to uh, make a huge family, like 10 kids and then what? like drive, drive down to work, go on my show, write a couple tunes, put out some music, make people happy, come home, pick up my kids from school, put them to bed. Like that's my bucket list dreams. I so love speaking it. Of Speaking of family, how's your dad doing? I know before all the quarantine and everything like that, he had the horrific accident yeah. and we heard that he was on the mend. Have you been able to see him? Is he hanging out with you guys there? Timing. Yeah. When this all started to, um, luckily he was, uh, they weren't quarantining. They weren't, um, it wasn't happening when he was in the hospital. So, yeah. um, he was healthy there and he was fine and he came home and he just has this back brace that I swear all the time. But his birthday was like the first week of all of this happening. And we went over and we like stayed outside and we said, hi, like from a window with gloves. And, and if we went in, we were all like, stay away and keep a distance. So we've seen him, I think twice when, since all this happened. And um, the second time was because my parents, my mom has been bringing us toilet paper because she's a saint. And I'm like, please stop going outside. You'll be fine. Like we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but she loves us so much and came over, but yeah, they're luckily they're good. My dad mm -hmm. is like very much on the older side of things and that really scared us. And he was like, this is the last thing I want is to get Corona. So we were all very like, mm -hmm. we can't stand any, everything, every piece of mail that comes in. I'm like, leave it outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been very clean. For your live from home uh, concerts and uh, like many concerts from each room in your home, can you please like have a room that's actually messy because it looks like your home's beautiful. I'd like to see like the whole, the room you really live in where you did like do a, do a, a show. Messy gal. Look at, look at <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, I have no excuse. All I've been doing is painting and reorganizing. <laughs> I've been making it Zen because I'm like this close to freaking out. So I like put more green in my home and I put the succulent thing back there. And oh, like, hey! Hi, <laughs> Daryl! Wait, did you just call your husband a succulent? <laughs> succulent, no. And then, <laughs> like, these kind of things. Isn't that so zen and relaxing? Oh, my God. Your kitchen's beautiful. Well... Okay, yes. You. Namaste. <laughs> thank you so much for what you're doing, not only for our community, but for the communities across America. I mean, it brings, like, we get emotional out here because we see, like, what people are going through. So thank you so much, Megan. Oh, you're so precious. I want to hug you. And your eyeliner is 100%. I just did it because I fell asleep. You know, I have kids, and so they, they kill you. I was about to say, that wasn't there when we did this interview earlier. Uh, she did that for you, Megan. I did. You did do that for me. I fan, fan girl. That's the one part of makeup I won't do. I'm so bad at it. I can't figure it out. But you look gorgeous. No, you're, oh my, God. I won't, I, 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 that's all. I, I feel like I should leave this meeting because the two of you, you have more to talk go. about. I'm just going to go. No, gonna you guys have fun. Go. For the rest of my life, that's all I have, the affirmation I need. Megan Trainer, thank you so much. You're doing great things. We love you. We love the single and the album. And you go have a blessed day. I appreciate you playing it too. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from Radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?